On odd prime p, uh, the following congruence conditions uh, for the representation of p by uh, certain quadratic forms are uh, classical. And uh, more generally, uh, we have that uh, the primes representable by this general form uh, are describable by congruence conditions, even only if n is one of Euler's uh, so-called convenient numbers. <coughs> now, uh, the only convenient powers of 2 are 1, 2, 4, 8, and 16. Uh, so in light of this, uh, the following theorem of Kaplansky is perhaps surprising. Uh, namely that a prime congruent to 1 modulo 16 is representable by both or none of these two forms, whereas a prime uh, congruent to 9 modulo 16 uh, is represented by exactly uh, one of these forms. Now in my paper uh, I show five more such results. Uh, for example, that uh, prime p congruent to 1 modulo 20 is represented by both or none of these two forms, whereas a prime congruent to 9 modulo 20 uh, is represented by exactly one of these forms. Um, in order to prove such theorems, uh, one has to look for negative discriminants uh, d such that the exponent of the class group of d uh, is equal to 4. Uh, now there is a known list of 485 uh, such discriminants. Uh, and it seems very reasonable to conjecture that this list is complete. Uh, and if this is the case, uh, then one can show that uh, the theorem of Kaplansky plus these five more theorems are in fact uh, the only theorems there are of this kind.